Welcome to the video series, The Slit Lamp Exam. This video explains the use of direct illumination with narrow slit width in the slit lamp exam. It covers the following topics. Illumination principle, usage, specific advantages, slit lamp setup, how to apply the technique, and common errors. Illumination principle. Direct illumination with a narrow slit width is a technique that allows the light to optically dissect the semi-transparent media of the eye. In this technique, the light beam acts like a knife which cuts through the different layers of semi-transparent tissues and allows the examiner to observe and accurately locate the structures and alterations. Usage It is used in the examination of semi-transparent structures like the cornea, and the lens, where it creates an optical section. However, the fine slit illumination can also be used for evaluating the height of lumps and bumps in other structures of the eye, such as the conjunctiva or the iris. Specific advantages The main advantage of the optical section is that it enables the localization of alterations which show increased light scattering in semi-transparent tissues. This opacity would appear in its lateral extent when viewed with a broad illumination. However, its depth appears only when narrowing the beam to a fine slit. In this case, the finding is located approximately in the anterior third of the stroma. Another particular advantage of using a fine slit illumination is that it allows for the observation of changes in the profile and the thickness of tissues. In this case, for example, the slit beam reveals the thinning of the cornea. Or in this case, the reflection of the slit on the iris shows how its contour is affected by the melanoma. Slit Lamp Setup To set up the slit lamp, choose a high light intensity and a very narrow slit width. The illumination angle is selected according to anatomical conditions, somewhere between 30 and 50 degrees. A magnification of 16 times to 25 times is recommended to localize the depth of alterations, and 10 times to 16 times for assessing the profile of the cornea. How to apply the technique? It can be difficult to focus on a semi-transparent structure such as the cornea. A simple way of getting the cornea into focus is as follows. Move your slit lamp towards the patient until the iris is in focus. Narrow the slit and increase the illumination intensity. Then increase the illumination angle and move backwards. You can see the focus on the cornea moving towards the center the more you move the slit lamp backwards. Increase the magnification if required. Using the optical section for the examination of the lens is relatively simple when you use the capsular bag as landmark. When you have the cornea in focus, just move the slit lamp in until your focus is on the anterior capsule of the lens. You will need to reduce the illumination angle for reaching the posterior capsule. For the evaluation of changes in profile in a given structure, bring the slit lamp in focus and choose a large illumination angle. The larger the illumination angle is, the better you see changes in profile. Common errors. When scanning the cornea or the lens with a fine slit, there is a significant risk of missing small alterations in the tissue or on the surface. This is because the field of view is restricted to the intersection plane, which is very narrow. Therefore, always scan the cornea with a moderate slit and narrow the slit only when investigating the localization of findings. Thank you for watching. The Harkstride team wishes you a lot of success in using this illumination technique. This episode was made possible with the following contributions.